So within Betangel, if you go to the main screen, you can see up here there's a whole list of different tools and one of them is the in-play trader tool. You can see the winning post of a horse race here. And the reason for that is this is um, a tool that you would use if you're trading in play. And in version 159, um, or above a bet angel, we've significantly enhanced this with some new features that you'll be interested in. So in this video, I'm going to review the in-play trader tool quickly and also the enhancements that we've made in the latest version. If you're interested in learning to use bet angel, head on over to our website where you can download a free trial. If you're interested in learning how to use it, then head over to the bet angel Academy where you can do exactly that. And if you want to talk to like-minded people, then head on over to our forum. So if you're not familiar with InPlay Trader, I'm just going to talk you through this fairly quickly, but it's for use on horse racing. And if we click on the icon here, you can bring up um, the actual tool itself. I've pinned it here so that it remains on top. And the idea of InPlay Trader is it's a graphical representation of a particular race. Um, and you can actually look at the race in a graphical form. Um, as you can see here, which I will expand on in a second, but also more importantly, it's a betting and trading interface. So if you think that the horse is going to win, you can click in front of it. If you think the horse is going to lose, you can click behind it and you can use left or right click. You can use a variety of ways of placing different types of bets. And the interesting thing about trading using the InPlay Trader tool is that um, it can inherit all of the characteristics that you put within BetAngel. So, you know, you can get Betangel to do all sorts of clever things um, or you can pin it in the same way that I have here and then you can put it on top of your one click screen, your ladder um, or however you wish to display the information. But basically by clicking anywhere on here, you can actually place a bet or a trade um, just by looking at how a race is progressing. All of the things that you see on here can be modified and basically you can select how you want the information to be displayed, whether you want it to be sorted or not, what happens when you click on um, your mouse, um, and also, again, the characteristics of that. So you could back only, low only, left click, back right, and so on. So you can see, basically, um, that is how InPlay Trader works. And when the race starts, basically, the horses will run towards the winning post, and you can put the winning post on the left or the right. Everything, like I said, can be modified. But basically, as the race gets underway, You'll see the horse is running towards the post and then it's up to you to decide when you want to place that particular trade in the market. But for a quick overview, that's what the InPlay Trader tools. We will look at it in action in a little bit. But what I'll move on to now is uh, some of the things that we've modified in version 159 or above and how you can use those to display additional information to make this tool even more useful if you're betting or trading in play. So if you want to set up in Play Trader, I've explained how it works basically. Uh, and like I said, we will look at this on a race in a short while. Um, one of the uh, features that we've enhanced on the latest version of BetAngel is hidden over here. So if we click on settings, you will now see that you have the ability to create custom layouts within in Play Trader and then save those underneath a profile. So you can see we've got some profiles here already. Uh, which I will come back to in a minute. But let me create a profile so that you can understand exactly some of the things that you can do. So the idea of creating the profile is that you set the screen up exactly the way that you want. And it's possible you may have a slightly different setup for jumps racing as opposed to a five furlong flat race, but also you may have preferences depending upon a number of characteristics. So the idea of having the profile editor is that you can create exactly the view that you want. So um, you can see here, these are the, uh, it says override the following in play trader settings. So the X axis, basically when the horses run left or right, you can decide how you want that information displayed. You can sort how the horse, so it could be the, the, the one that is at the shortest odds. It could be all manner of different things. You can space out uh, all of the individual runners so that they, uh, the screen looks larger or smaller. But you can also see we've got a number of other options and some of these will be new to you if you've used InPlay Trader before, but not on the very latest version of BetAngel. So if I click on Labels, this is basically, I'm just going to move this around a little bit so that it's easier to explain what's going on here. 
Um, the odds label here is this number up here. So as you can see, the odds label are a set of odds. But you can also put in here a win percentage label or you can choose to have no labels at all. Um, the back price, you can decide whether you want to display the back price, the lay price, last traded price and the traded range. So when you actually have the traded range on or off, um, that can actually determine this bar here, which tells you the price at which the horse has run. So all of these are things that you would have seen in the previous version of InPlay Trader. And you can see here we can modify the bet placement. These are replicating some of the things that we can actually see on the uh, main interface. But the idea is that you can save these in a, in a profile and you can call this my InPlay trading settings or whatever you want to call it. You could call it whatever you like. We will look at some in a little bit more depth in a second because one of the other things that we've got on here now are markers. So if you've used the ladder interface on BetAngel, you will know that you can actually um, get BetAngel to display information on the ladder so that you can see data and information right in front of you, allowing you to act on it very, very quickly and easily. Um, and we can now do the same here on InPlay Trader. So the concept here, if I click on this element here, you can see how we can create a marker on InPlay Trader. And the idea is this displays all of this information and the markers over on the InPlay Trader screen. So you can see we can actually put a marker in. It could be a vertical line, horizontal bar, circle squares, or the jockey silks. You can decide how big the line is, where it's positioned within the screen, um, and exactly where the information is displayed. So you can see here the X axis, in other words, running from left to right or right to left. Um, you can actually enter additional information in, such as a particular price, you know, the price held in a stored value. So you can put automated, uh, you can use automation to put values in and then display them on the InPlay Trader screen. Incredibly helpful, as you will find out in a second. Um, a percentage or a percentage held in a store value. So you can actually do all sorts of really clever stuff here. And of course you can select um, the line color as well. You can actually determine um, shaded gradients and all of that sort of malarkey. But basically what you can now do is take information, display it actually on the in-play trader tool, uh, which will make your life so much easier um, and so much more fun and informative when you're actively trading in play. So in order to explain this a bit better, let's go up and look at a pre-populated example. So if we do the distance to leader with speed rank markers, that sounds interesting. If I click on that, um, you can see that this is already pre-populated. We've got loads of examples on the forum. You should check them out. We'll have a look at some of them. I'll whiz through them quickly um, when we, uh, as we go through this video. But basically, if you want to, you can go onto the forum and you can download profiles to use in exactly the same way. And it's a good way of learning how to use the markers. But you can see here, it's basically saying display a vertical line at 2, display a vertical line at 4, at 10. And you can actually put, it's uh, displaying a line on the top. And what it's actually displaying when it puts a line on the top, which we will see in a second, is the distance to the leader in this particular race. Um, and it's also displaying additional information and it's pulling in that information from the automation function within side bet angel. And you can see we've put a line um, on the top and on the bottom. And we've also put in additional information, which we are displaying the distance um, with jockey silks, which we will see in a second. It's difficult to explain without you actually seeing it. But what I wanted to do is just show you the options that are available within here without attempting to confuse you. So probably the best thing to do is to actually look at this next race that we've got at Hexham um, and actually show you how each one of these looks when we actually use them on the InPlay Trader tool. So we're looking at the next race at Hexham, goes off at three minutes past eight this evening. And one of the first things that you'll notice is that we've got data in here for um, the speed the horses are going. They're going to post at the moment the amount of race, uh, the, the length of the race that is being run, and various other factors like that, position of um, runner, distance to leader, and so on. These are imported via uh, TPD. If you want to know how to do that, um, then you may want to check that out because using the data from TPD, you can actually put onto um, InPlay Trader if you so wish to do so now. That is available to you. But if I click on InPlay Trader, um, I can bring that screen back up and... At the moment, there's probably no particular advantage in showing you anything. We really need to wait for the race to get underway. But I'll show you what each one of these things looks like 
um, and how we've used some of the total performance data mixed in with some of the existing options that are available to display new information on the Endplay Trader tool. So we can see the race in progress here and the odds are beginning to move now based upon the chance of the horses winning. You can see that we've got the race timer counting up based upon the amount of uh, the time of the race that is left and so on. Um, if you want to apply a profile, you basically just go to settings and then apply a profile. And then you can see all of a sudden we've got loads more information here. So you can see at the moment, this is displaying the distance to the leader dynamically. So basically Amber Run is in the lead and then the next closest horse is Sputnik. And you can also see the um, little things are flashing green and red here. This is indicating the speed and whether it's increasing or decreasing at this particular moment in time. Um, but you can also see other information over here. So this is actually plotting the odds that are available and we could display additional information here. And then each of these lines here um, are gradients within those odds. Um, so you can actually tell roughly where they are within the market. But the concept here is basically, can you see that instead of just having a, a one dimensional view of the market, um, you can actually display additional information that can be plotted above the existing uh, runner. You can still click in towards the left and right if you want to place a back or a lay bet on these particular selections. But you can actually see multi levels of different types of information available within here as well, which will significantly enhance your in play trading. Now we've got several of these types of examples on the forum, and I suggest that you know if you want to understand the full power of what you can see here, then maybe have a look at each one of those examples on the forum. Because I'm only giving you one here, but basically you now have the power not only to bet graphically or to trade graphically, you can actually um, overlay additional information right on top of the in-play trader screen, which means that you don't have to look at additional information. It's all available in front of you. All you have to do to decide on this particular race is whether you want to click in front or behind the horse, whether you want to back or lay, and Bet Angel will do all the rest of those for you from there. So yeah, this enhancement significantly improves your ability to be able to profit from in-play trading.